I'm trying to see how many days I can ride this year, and so far I haven't missed a day. Hashtag 365 motorcycle. This video starts out on Sunday because I decided to make a separate video for day 62. We're back. <clears throat> so today is the 4th of March. It is a Sunday. And here's what I've accomplished so far. I uh, got up, got Mrs. Smith's bike out, ready for class, rode to class with her. She's taking the off-road class today. Uh, froze my ass off. Uh, rode around a little bit aimlessly on a quest for the... Uh, <laughs> stuck my bike in neutral because I don't know how to drive. Uh, went on a quest for a bagel. Almost got just smashed by a truck here. Uh, so yeah, went on a quest for a bagel, which was a waste of time because it was the worst freaking bagel ever. ever. Um, okay, so here it is, a picture of the worst bagel I've ever eaten. It doesn't even have a hole. I'm kind of a bagel snob, being a New York and New Jersey. -er. Got lost because this stupid ass detour here. Hey, let's close down a major, we're talking a major road in, uh, in Sacramento area. Let's close it down and not even have a fucking detour sign. I mean, it's like, it's like, uh, absolutely ridiculous. So that's what I was angry about this morning. <clears throat> I mean, I'm serious, man. This is like the, the poorest signing. I didn't even know which way to go. I was coming from the other way. Yeah, I filmed a segment before this, but I really wanted to rant about the lack of detour and then having to get lost. So, and then I said, topping it off, the shittiest uh, bagel in the world. I posted a picture of it on my Instagram. It was more like, uh, more like toast. And at least it was only like thirty fifty for the shittiest bagel in the world. So when I go back, it's funny. I got a friend that I work with. She's from Jersey. Like we always talk about whenever we go back to Jersey, juvenile even in the uh, tunnel. All we do is get pizza and bagels. So that's like uh, that's like the quest. You try to eat that as much as you can because you can't get either really in California. I've actually haven't really tried to find great bagels, but uh, I at least know one place, two places I can get pretty good pizza out here. But it's. Uh, Still not as good as, as Jersey and New York. So, yep, yep. Well, that's that. That's my Sunday fun day rant. So, all right. Well, I guess with that, we'll out. Peace out. And we're back. So, uh, today is Monday, the 5th of March. I'm heading back from work on Betsy. Betsy's my VFR interceptor. And I was just thinking, uh, you know, I think about a lot of things. I figured I'd turn the camera on. I recorded, uh, uh, recorded this morning, but what was bothering me now about the scene, and this is something I never brought up, is uh, the 10C, is when you're riding a sportier bike, now the VFR is not super sporty, but it's, uh, it's sporty enough, so when you're riding that, you're a little bit leaned over more, so when you try to do head checks, uh, especially to the left, the dial on the camera hits my shoulder all the time and messes up the settings it's crazy it happens on some of the other bikes but you know it definitely happens on this bike and i'm wondering if it's because uh fuck i don't know if i had the camera i just said it fuck twice now said it once and then decided to recognize i said it so said it twice but i wonder if it's because i have the f camera in the wrong position on the helmet but not too many choices you got to clip it to the underside and uh, maybe if I clipped it further forward, that would work. But I don't think it would because then it wouldn't be pointing straight. It'd be pointing off to the side. So again, I just think it's another, uh, you know, another, another poor design. So, yep, yep. So.
So I'm also taking a section of road I usually don't take home. So new footage because uh, I don't really like hitting the speed bumps on this bike. Some of them are tall and they hit the underside of the exhaust. So yep, yep. So that is that. Now I'm on a road that I really don't like to drive on because uh, there's just a lot of crazy things that happen. So commuting, I'll tell you, man, commuting's freaking dangerous. That's what I would say. If you like a bike, uh, go ride off in the hills uh, just for leisure because commuting uh, like at least once a day almost somebody uh, doesn't see me or pulls out in front of me or does something stupid and you know uh, luckily the end result isn't too bad all the time so alright well with that peace out and we're back we're back so today is Sixth of March, and I'm commuting home from work. Commuting, uh, yep, yep, on the 599. I got a bicycle in front of me, riding the middle of the road. Yesterday, I was coming home this way on the VFR, and uh, I noted that uh, I haven't seen a cop in a while. And lo and behold, as soon as I said that, there was a sheriff back here, and I tend to. Uh, drive that bike a little faster this bike too yeah, just the nature of the bikes probably the vfr is the one i like to wick up a little bit more so uh what's the chances right what's the chances of me saying i haven't seen a cop in a while and, and lo and behold there's a cop running radar so luckily i was only going like five miles over the speed limit i think tops maybe so too bad but like I said this is a kind of a hoity-toity neighborhood back there so I'm sure they get their uh, presence of police uh, patrols is greater than in the regular hoods of SACTA not very often do I get to this intersection and I can just pull out yep yep so all right, well, really not much else to say today. Just be happy to be riding home, not in the cage. And I'm happy that the weather is uh, pretty nice. It's got to be uh, probably like 64 out, that's what I'm going to guess. That's what the weather said, so. All right, well, with that, Mike Smith says, peace out. And we're back. So today is the 7th of March, I do believe so. I count it correctly in my head. It is Wednesday. And like usual on a weekday, I am heading into work. Uh, today I'm riding the Ducati Multistrada. Uh, bike hasn't been run in a while, so I figured I'd take it for the, I don't know, I guess my work commute is probably 10 miles each way or so, you know, plus or minus, so run it today. It's uh, not going to be a rainy day. It's supposed to start raining tomorrow. So that means uh, Young NC will probably come out or Thumper. Those are my two uh, rain bikes. And uh, not really sure about Thumper because uh, Mr. Smith keeps talking about selling Thumper, but we never really advertise Thumper and try to pull the, try to pull the trigger on that, so. Yep, yep. Uh, yeah, a lot of bikes out today. Uh, today again, I'm going in for eight o'clock rather than seven. And I'm doing a different job, so I like to stay later because that's when problems usually crop up. But uh, yeah, so but uh, but uh, if I can stop that, man, that would be uh, be awesome. But uh, it's probably not gonna happen. So yeah, there's a bunch of bikes out today ready. I uh, saw a. I believe some type of Harley. I don't really know anything about Harleys. Not a 
not a bagger one, you know, like a naked one. Uh, parallel twin ninja, I'm not sure which one, uh, which one, it, which one it was. It's definitely a parallel twin. And then a, uh, I think a Yamaha XT250. So, there's always, uh, more bikes out the later in the day. Seems like, I don't know. I wonder if that's just because the people that commute on bikes feel more comfortable even later in the day, or if, uh, or if this, by coincidence, they have a later work start, but who knows. Alright, well, with that, happy hump day. Peace out. And we're back! So, today is the 8th. Yep, yep. It is Thursday, and it is my Friday, because I'm not working tomorrow. So, uh, I'm riding Young NC. Uh, this is the first time I rode Young NC this week, and that's because we had good weather. Good weather, I say. So, yeah, good weather equals I try to take some other bikes out. And by good weather, I just mean uh, rainy weather. So. Yep, yep. So, tomorrow's supposed to be nice. Not sure what I'm going to ride tomorrow, but I do, even though I'm off, I'm going to go to the dock tomorrow for a few hours. <laughs> It's in an office. I don't think I've ever been to, so I'm not sure which bike to take. So that means I'll probably take Young NC for a number of reasons. Uh, Young NC is the most comfortable by that. I mean, the bike I'm most comfortable on when I really don't know where I'm going. I don't know why. Probably because I ride the bike the most. And the second thing is uh, Young NC has full insurance. On them. And third reason is if Young NC were to get stolen, God forbid, could be a blessing because even though I think these uh, NC 700Xs are pretty awesomely cool, well rounded bikes, it seems like they don't have much of a resale value. Uh, so, uh, not that I plan on selling it, but my guess is if. Like I said, God forbid somebody ripped Young NC off. I'd probably get more money than I would if I were to sell Young NC. And, uh, yeah, it's interesting. Like I probably said before, uh, bikes are like kids. It's hard to get rid of them. So uh, when one dies, it gives the opportunity to buy something else. So, uh, yeah, I think if uh, Young NC were to die... To replace Young NC, I'd probably get an Africa Twin because uh, one of the things, and I was thinking about this might be a good week-long segment at some time, is uh, you know engines and engine configurations. My goal at one point, and I've succeeded, was to have uh, more or less all the major engine engine configurations and have them in Honda. So. Uh. This is my parallel twin. Excuse me, my uh, interceptors, my V4, my Hawks, my V twin, uh, my Hornets, my inline four, and uh, Young NC is my parallel twin. So, so yep, yep, I got five bikes. I think that's right. Five different engine configs: inline four, thumper, V twin, V4, parallel twin. Yeah, so. Alright, well, uh, oh, this is another peeve of mine, too, uh, California, probably other states, too. Uh, these people who drive around with these stupid-ass bike racks on their car all the time. And maybe this person doesn't, but, I mean, Jesus Christ. It must be nice to just obscure your plate all the time and not have anybody give a shit about it. So, I don't know. Fries my eggs. Anyway, I think it's almost time to move. California. So, all right, well, with that, I'll say what I always say. Goodbye.
And we're back! So, today is Friday, March 9th. And I am headed to the doctor for the day. I brought uh, pretty much every motorcycle magazine we have so I can read them, which is good. I'm actually looking forward to being able or having a reason to catch up on reading. Got my pad, got my phone, so I'm uh, yip yip, I'm all squared away. And uh, yeah, I'm taking surface streets there rather than the, the slab. It wouldn't be the super slab, but yeah, you can see as we come up to this bridge here, this, that's what I'd be dealing on, dealing on, dealing with, driving through if I was, uh, if I was on the slab. So it'd be interesting to see if, if I pick up more traffic down here because. If I was sitting up there in a cage, I'd be like, "F that! I'm getting off, and I'll take uh, I'll take Folsom Boulevard." So, yeah, it looks like the uh, weather forecast has changed again for the weekend. Instead of it being rainy both days, now it's supposed to be nice both days. So that's awesome. Uh, it's bad because we could still use a lot more water, but you know, it is what it is. And uh, yeah, maybe after this. Uh, my day at the dock. Might be doing a quick, uh, quick trip to Prairie City with the uh, with the missus. So, well, that is the Friday check-in. Hopefully, Saturday and Sunday I have some more interesting riding to do. So, kind of looking forward to maybe going on a longer ride. I think Mrs. Smith might be doing a. Uh, female ride on Sunday so maybe I'll go someplace by myself or probably not I'll probably be lazy and catch up on she ought at the house so all right well with that peace out okay I didn't make it to Prairie City but I did make it to Sacktown Union Brewery for a beer and a crowler and we're back so today's Saturday, March 10th. I'm riding with Mrs. Smith with no calm. Uh, we went to a bike shop, we went to a brewery, and now we're just riding around aimlessly because my GPS no longer works and I cannot uh, really remember where I'm at. But I think this is the road that I was on when I filmed my slow ride. Uh, video so uh, could be wrong could be right but uh, who cares we really don't have anything to do some lights laundry that's really uh, what the rest of the night is drink some crowlers in the hot tub uh, you know maybe a few other minor things but it ain't like it's a big uh, like we gotta uh, <laughs> split an atom tonight I guess so to speak so So, yep, yep, uh, I'm not sure, I think we might be, we could potentially be in Auburn, we left Lincoln, and we were just riding around, but, uh, for anybody, <laughs> for the 20 people that watch these videos, uh, for those of you who don't live in the area, it probably really doesn't matter, so, yep, yep, so, anywho, uh, I haven't really done any reasonable riding and this isn't like this is reasonable riding without a purpose so I'm pretty happy to just uh, be out on the bike I'm on uh, Young NC today Mrs. Smith's on the uh, Black Widow so yep yep so that's that uh, I guess after this curve I will sign it off with that Boop, boop, peace out And we're back! Today's Sunday, the 11th of March. A beautiful spring day. Looks like spring is perhaps here for good. Uh, we had a few warm days a while back. And then it got cold again. But I think this is the true start of spring in California on March 11th. Which is pretty, uh, pretty crazy. 
So yeah, today I'm just uh, cruising around on the on the 599. Uh, I wanted to take the Hawk out, but I was like looking at the chain, and it looks like it's the Hawk actually came with a center stand. And the chain looks pretty close to the center stand with a little bit of flex, so I think it's time to adjust that chain. And I've been putting it off because apparently there's like a, you know it's an old school bike, so there's like a uh, it's a single you know single swing arm, so that's pretty much it probably adjust like my you know like my VFR does but I think there's like a special measuring tool they don't have you measure in inches and stuff so uh, I kind of been being lazy and then lo and behold I'm not riding the bike I wanted to ride today but sorry uh, sorry if you have to hear that Honda Hornet but uh, you know the Honda the Hornet's a good good substitute anyway so yeah Mrs. Smith went on a uh, ride with some females today so that left me uh, not riding with her and uh, I was goofing around at home literally just goofing around not really accomplishing anything and I figured then I should get my ass out and take a ride so not really sure where I'm going I'm finding myself headed towards Auburn which means I'll probably go to uh, uh, Knee Deep Brewery and I'm getting sick of waving at bikes man so I'm gonna go to Needy Brewery probably get a beer get a crowler to go I think I can fit a crowler in this little mini uh, four liter <laughs> tank bag that's the only thing that fits on this bike because the, the, I don't know if you can see what the bars are are so narrow uh, actually that's a lie I had a I had a bigger tank bag and that's in my uh, lost my tank bag video I put it up on a gas pump and left it but that bag was ugly as hell way more utilitarian I could have put probably like three crowlers in there maybe four this one I'm concerned I won't even get one in but eh, it is what it is this one uh looks better and I never thought I'd say that but yep yep so god almighty this has got to be like the 25th bike I've seen today so that's awesome folks getting out and about uh, a few weeks back now I hardly see anybody when I go out but uh spring is sprung so yep yep well uh that's pretty much that uh looking forward to next week uh, although it's supposed to rain I think the whole week but if you listen to my videos you can see the forecasts are always wrong so hopefully we'll get a dry day maybe you know one or so during the week so I'll have to ride every day in the rain so all right well with that peace out okay it's a pretty big can but it's still pretty sad I can only fit two of these in the tank bag on the Hornet so far, so good. I've been able to ride every day this year. Hopefully, I can keep it up. Thanks for watching.